So we have our five. We have our five humans. And so now we need an opponent. We need the open AI five. That's it. And we're ready to start the show match. But, there um, we go. The, the crowd enjoying the lineup that the humans have presented here to OpenAI as OpenAI will respond with a fifth pick lion. It'll actually become a regular oh, game of Dota. And look at that. The, the, the percentage oh. has just gone up in milliseconds. 18, 90, 95. He changed his mind three times <laughs> in a fraction of a second. That's He's like, a lot of confidence. That was, wow. From OpenAI, but here we go. This is going to be fun indeed, Mr. OpenAI Sniper, as we get into this game one between Team Human and the OpenAI. Oh. Uh, also, the OpenAI, so maybe taking a page out of their books. Oh. Was that a double shrapnel? Oh, stacking, He's stacking shrapnel! Him. Is this bot TI? Oh, the OpenAI making a, a, a questionable decision there. Yes, that was not a good move. Let's get in the first last hit. That's huge. I honestly was not super impressed with the with the bot last hitting in the previous match. Oh, top lane. They do oh. get themselves the kill as they dive in. They're using Sal's to ferry, keeping himself close towards the oh, tower. Top lane. Crystal Maiden is in trouble. Oh, another dive in. Another hex and another kill. And second one there for OpenAI on this top lane. So going back to sort of the 2 one twos, which we more commonly see uh, from, from the pro foot lane. Moon wants to go for this kill. He's got to be careful. He's got the double fairy fire, though. This is a common Moon style here. Oh, oh the south though. He turns. Can he get it? No, he can't. OpenAI take the kill on Moon. Sal's already out oh, on OpenAI there's three heroes on him this time. He complained about it, and he's probably going to be a bit annoyed again as it happens. Immediate smoke up as well after they get the kills. We have it towards the mid. Fog He's going to walk himself into the Lich. Actually, the Fisher does manage to trap him there. Nice trap ball. indeed. He's setting up here for Blitz to come in. The stun will hold back the SF, so the Razor don't come through. There's a bit of time to salvo, but it's not enough. As Fog there with a, a, a fantastic setup there with that Fisher trap. Ooh, possible rotation. Drow shows up in the lane. The missile on to Moon. We'll see how hard open AI looks to go in. The Fisher does slow down the gyro a bit, but it's not enough. Prioritization on this bottom lane. Four of them down here to look to, to battle with open AI. Open AI will turn. I'll get the stun with the Lion. Moving in for the Rocket Barrage. Bog gets the Fisher out. He does get healed up. There is a missile inbound. We're going to see the rest of the team continue to try and fight as Bog will survive. Blitz turns for the raises. Gets the kill. The Assassinate coming through with the Blast. The bounces. It's enough. That's going to be the SF gone. Mid Cap to pull as well. Malini has turned up, but it's a little too late. The humans, they've already down two heroes here. He's got to retreat. Moon trying to get to the center, but all he still has the Reaper Scythe available. Lays it down as Lich will get the kill, but he still ends up falling. Sniper's level eight. He's got a phase boot, so he's high damage, high nuke, and he's just going to keep assassinating Crystal Maiden. But the subs are already prepped here. Sam's got to be the, careful. He's gone. Cap's gone there with the assassinates and the flat cannons. He was not ready there. And that's all it took, a couple flak and a second assassin. He was thinking he could heal through that, but he got bursted. Merlin, he's in trouble too. He is, he's getting chased, he's getting dove. The chain frost being bounced between them perfectly as open AI. Take down both Malini and Moon Meander. And they're onto the tier one tower, pushing in. Same time up top, looks like we have the DP chasing Blitz around. He's gonna pop this out, he's got the DD. Maybe he could try and outplay the bot here. They've got the Fisher as well with the DD. They're gonna be able to do it then. Blitz and Fog. Catching out the Death Prophet, still the bottom tier one tower in trouble, will go down. Well, they can push themselves. Blitz can go in the mid lane. SF is amazing at pushing as a solo hero. Spend a little mana. And Cap, a little bit too far on the front lines as he instantly gets disabled by the Lion. Burst down by the Assassinate of the Sniper. He's going to heal up a bit, slowing down the push, but... He's got to be careful, Cap. I mean, Cap does have backup. There's the Fisher out to two on the side, though. Malini getting focused by the line of the Sniper. Fogged, he's getting trapped in there. Trap, oh open God. AI, trapping the humans, taking down three of them. As they come in with the Ghost Wraparound from the Death Prophet, there's no escape for them there. His reaction time should be good, but... Oh, this could be Bloodstein, though. This would be so bad for oh. their team. The dust? They've got the dust. Oh, They're found it. But still, they've got the AoE to burst in. Blitz is gone for 30. Malini trying to lead forward onto the line. Line is out of mana. Cap getting right click down here by the Lich. Same time, they'll go for the cooldown. They've managed to find Malini. Fog no. desperately wanting this sniper, but open AI, they duke him out. Turn around, he's ready to turn and punch back as Fog will fall. Can't get the Fisher out. Open AI laughs in his face. They know the value of just keeping the opponent slow at any sort of cost. So they have nuked the creep wave here. This is basically what they need to do. A fissure. Oh, they're in trouble. Let's trade it with the burst. Malini will put the one charges. It's not enough to keep him alive. The flat cannon finishes him off. Cap gets caught out from the stun as well. It's a level 11 Lich. Fog. Let's try for the fissure setup. Blitz still with a bit of time left for the Shadow Blade. Looks for the wraparound. They've got the burst. They've got the kill. 
that they can't even like split push in the meantime. I mean, the humans know that the gyro TP bottom, so maybe they can look to try and do something here. They try with the Fisher, but straight away turning with the Mask of Madness and the Sniper going into Fog, doesn't quite finish him off, turns towards a bigger target. Looks towards Malini, will find him. Cap tries to leave forward, Blitz has the Requiem. Can he finish the kill? He can. They get the Sniper, Cap Blitz get another. He does it, the Requiem, it okay. does! Will get the kill, it costs them many lives though, Team Human. And they do lose three, oh. but they are able to take down two of OpenAI's cores. Every time he comes forward, they throw the missile, they throw the, the assassinate, and they get him low. He's, I mean, this guy needs a tranquil boot so bad, but he just can't get it. And now they're moving in. They get Cap. Cap will fall again. And they do to stop this Hex and Stun coming out onto Fog. They're keeping him held at the sideline. Fog trying to back up with a finger. Oh, from maximum range there from the Lion. will burst him down. They have managed to claim Sniper as Blitz came in from the side, was able to burst him. But they're moving in for more with the cooldown onto Moon. Moon, he gets stunned up, disabled. Necrophos is gone. Buybacks now to come out from Team Humans. They'll buy back on Moon Meander and OpenAI immediately respecting that, backing up. Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty low and they're out of region. I don't, I don't know if that's going to last. Time. Green Wave is dead, so they're going to have to take the tower at least. Fog tries to finish, but he hits the Hex! He instantly gets Hex there by the line. He will get oh, the he Echo Slam out. They're two down on the Team Humans, on the front, the Death Prophet standing strong as four dead. They'll look for the fifth, he'll try with the Reaper Scythe Moon, but it's not enough damage. Triple kill for the Gyros, open AI, wipe them with the quick Hex reactions there of Lion. Yeah, the Hex absolutely did everything there. If that Echo Slam comes out earlier, can they defend this time? They don't have Echo Slam, 60 seconds on that one. They've got no BKB on Blitz just yet. If he gets that, he can maybe take a fight at least. But there's a lot of big items on opening AI 5 right now. SNY on the gyro with his drums. They've got a lot of good things. Ready, they do get the Fisher. Blitz trying to see if he can maybe set up for the Red Grim. They'll jump in again. Fog instantly gets hexed by oh, no, the Lion. Blitz now getting focused. The Assassinate bringing him low. There's the blast from the Lich to finish him off. Four dead on Team Human as open AI. Open the base up for a second set of racks, and GG will be called 21 minutes in into this benchmark. Open AI will take game one. I, I mean, that wasn't that bad. 20-minute uh, game for their second racks. They were very close to defending. I think they had the things that they needed. This is, we're basically seeing into the Open AI 5 brain right now. We see the percentage chance of what they expect to play against here. So I feel like they, they know how to deal with Shadow Fiend. They can make sure that he stays behind this game. And they felt like that was a big mistake. Interesting that, as you see, between some of the heroes, sort of their, their, their chance of winning to the guys. So it seems to be very much focused on just what the other team's picking rather than their confidence it's, in their own picks. It's a mix of see. both. It, yeah. it proves that drafting does have to do with this order thing, which we all know, right? Um, it, and it shows right now that Necro is literally the worst hero they could pick of the remaining eight. They are still sitting at, what, a 77% or whatever it was chance of winning. But it was the hero that, and that it, maybe could catch them and off And it's guard. not just it. This, this is the hero that Fogged has been, like, crying about in, an, in a gentle way, about wanting the hero to be better because he really likes playing the hero. This could be... This could be, oh, and Moon Meander, Earthshaker, that's a historic hero on that guy. It is the Moon Shake and play here with the five-man smoke. This time round, OpenAI have split themselves across the map. As we see Blitz there trying to match OpenAI nice. with their level of... All no talismans. But this, in a sense, it's got to be a bit of a win here for Team Human, forcing the opponents to drop two Observer Wards the by their tower. You know, that, that's a win for Team oh, Human. Oh, this is really bad for Sniper here. Is he blocked in? Oh. He's going for the double race. This is a dead hero. Wow. Blitz. First blood there, thanks to Moon Meander's setup with the Fisher. Well, I say an edge, but Moon's got this full creep wave, so all in all, pretty much just trading evenly down the top lane. Bottom lane, the dive coming through, open AI getting aggressive, and they'll get Capitalist. TP's coming from Fog. He's level two. They are going to try for the TP out. Fog, he's got nowhere to cancel it. Tries to get the damage in, but it's not enough. I mean, and I feel like as well, despite the fact that sort of some of the big plays from Fog got shut down, we saw the potential of the shake. Bottom lane, quick stun, and they found the opening again onto Cap. Cap caught out. But pulling is... So good if you manage it. Really need trouble though. Yeah, they do. They get the slow. They get the setup with the stun. And he does have the siphon. They'll look to try and turn the cars thrown out by Captain's, but there's the hex. They've got the lockdown. They've got the control. Do they have the damage to bring down Malini? He starts to salve up. It's not going to save in those. Open AI find one. They may even get another there. As already, Lion was setting up onto Cap with the stun. The right clicks come in as Open AI punish both of them for that pull attempt. Again, sort of yeah. seeing adaptations on, on what happened in game one there. Edge out one less death. But if you look at uh, how Open AI does it, they always know their limits. Oh! 
Midlane. Old will get the kill onto the sniper. Does fall to the tower. But still, uh, oh. safe lane mis uh, mistakes in the safe lane. Old lane Moon, he should have this kill. He's going to have Fisher back up. He's got oh, all no, the south! The right. south that came out all just right. in time. That was not planned. That, I mean, that Fogged, was just luck. At least but. Fogged, he's got the cleanup. Fogged will come in oh. and finish off that line. Same time in mid lane. Missile on his way out to Blitz as Jaro puts on the pressure. Down bottom as well, looking towards Malini. Both the Lich and the, the Crystal Maiden. Diving in pretty deep here. He's got some stick charges and the Siphon. Is it enough to keep Malini alive or pop the stick? The Lich continuing to dive in Fogged. Oh, sorry, Moon is coming in with the TP. Malini will be able to shoot them. Fisher's going to be off the mark, though. So Lich will get out of there, but he won't get the kill. Yeah, Moon making the safe play there. If, if he is perfectly following Merlini there, he can prevent the death. Um, getting the kill there would have been kind of tough. But Moon does rotate. Picking up level 5 or level 6 now means that he can go for uh, turning either of these fights around. But Gyro with the perfect oh, timing. Oh, runs in and finishes off Ben Wu. And Moon's in trouble now too. Here's the homing missile, the frostbite, and the cooldown will mean another for Gyro. Double kill picked up for the open AI Gyrocopter. Kind of hard, and Lich is playing very safe in his positioning. So hard to get under the tower. I mean, Ben comes forward, but immediately gets blasted. Fogged is going to try and jump in with the counterplay. Instant Hexler comes out again from Lion. Holding Fog down, he will get the kill onto the Gyro, but now caps alone. Instantly, very healed. And they're gonna go for the dive. So aggressive here from OpenAI, moving in onto Blitz. He's trying to keep himself a distance with the Shadow Amulet, but they're ready, they're prepared. Did he recast that there? It felt like he was invisible, but they may keep diving though. Uh, ben getting a nuke out, he's gonna get a homing missile though. It's kind of dangerous. Yeah, he's got the one charges, which will keep him safe enough. Cap coming in as well now with the point of feeder restoration. Fog tries to head forward, gets the silence out. He has been dusted, so we'll have to keep his distance. OpenAI getting the space to push onto another tier one. The Chain Frost bouncing out the Assassinate onto Ben, as well as the stun from the tree line. OpenAI find Malini. The tower as well. It's OpenAI's five man. Get a bunch of levels, maybe a Blink Dagger before he feels better. Blitz getting ganked in the jungle, though. They found him again. He'll go for the Shadow Amulet play. They don't see him. He's abusing it. And neither of the two of them have detection upon them, so he yep, will none be of them fine. Do. This, is a, this is a great example of ways that you can abuse. Um, uh, machine learning, basically. The bot lane. They don't even care about their creep. Well, they keep one creep wave there, but... What's up the Shadow Amulet? Do they have detection, the humans? That is the question. It, They're learning. Uh, it's not enough to save them, though. They find the kill. Quick finger, though, as the counterplay comes in from OpenAI. As they burst down Malini. One for one between the two of them. And OpenAI, of course, did manage to finish off that Tier 2 tower bottom. Oh, Moon tries to TP out. But the stun's back online as well as the Hex from the Lion. Holding Moon in place. He'll turn the Fisher, the Paralyzing Cast. Fog, in fact, jumping back in with the Silence. He's got the tricks of the trade and they'll get the kill. They'll take down the Lion. <laughs> Arguably the peskiest hero that OpenAI have presented. He, he, yeah, he's got to wait for that Shadow Blade they to come back him. up. It's back up in the five ward. seconds. Two seconds and he can try and run his way out, but no, he's accepted his fate. The damage is too much. His Blitz will get caught out. This tier one tower, they do have Lich in position. He has the chain frost ready. In fact, he throws it out straight away onto Moon. They've got to be careful with these bounces as they are bringing Moon down incredibly low. And Moon will get taken down by the shrapnel. The bounces are chain frost too much. Blitz just split pushing bottom, trying to play solo here. He's got a raindrop as well, but the gyro's just farming so well right now. He's oh, doing bit of harass there onto the CM, but Fogged is going to get turned around upon. They've got the sentry down, so they see him. He's got the tricks of trade. Is it actually going to be enough to keep him safe? That's the question. It looks like it nice will. Play. Moon did the right thing there. He's got to run at his opponents to try to keep him alive. Maybe a fight. Oh, that Silas is dead for them. Can they find the least they can't? The oh, they there can they with that. They get the Crypt Swarm out onto him. Cap still alive for now. He will fall as OpenAI drops the CM ultimate. They're trying to chase down Malini as well. Malini's going to be wrapped around upon by the sniper. In comes the headshot. Infused raindrop. Oh. Keeps him alive. Lion holds back on the, the sniper. They see him. The creeps will find him. Nims over all placed earlier as Lion quickly comes back in. And hang on. Oh, oh jumps into the echo. Oh. Moon, the combo, the slam, oh. the two. They got them there. Team is human. Can't hex that one when you're silenced, buddy. Come on. Look at that. That's got to feel good. Lion silent at the moment as was, Moon ready to sort of get revenge for the, the beat down that oh, Fog fuck, received. Fog's perfect positioning. Spotting the enemies here. They're chasing down the sniper. Cars come out from Cap to the side. Fog still chasing down this sniper. Malini's going to be able to close the gap. Has he got the damage to bring him down? The Chain Frost bounces and oh, the Chain no. Frost slow will hold back Team Human as they've lost two. Ben actually popping the ghost in trying to fight back but the burst is too much. 
OpenAI's Gyro gets the triple kill as only Fogged and Blitz are left alive and on the retreat. Let's notice that one. They've got the Blink Dagger ready. They're trying to do a bit of a push here. Oh, the dust! Lion, he was what? prepared for that. He what? straight up just dusted Fog. Fog has got the tricks of the trade. He will manage to jump across, but oh, the bounce no. chases him as Fog will fall. Cap getting blasted as well by the Assassinate. I mean, this game's already a huge improvement, right? We're 20 minutes in. We haven't seen any high ground actually happen yet. Obviously, these Tier 2s are open, and there's the potential for them doing this. But the, the game is definitely progressed. We're, we're, we're very solidly in mid-game right now. That's what we're seeing. And here comes the high ground. I, I don't know if they're ready for this. I, are they going to try to defend it? It looks like it. Moon's TPing back. On the back of it, Fog ready to go for the, the correct targets in terms of the silences. They don't have any detection at all. Now it's going to fall, but... And they've got to make a jump soon. When is it going to be? As they're already, they've lost Ben Wu. Moon, can he find the setup? He's keeping himself very well held back. The open AI dropping the 99% now upon Team Human. As they clean up this mid set of racks. Moon still holding back on that Echo Slam. He's looking for the perfect chance. He can't find it. Just goes in on the side, but instantly Hex. Moon taken down. They'll get the Red Grim as well as the race is off. But Team Human, they've lost three. They've lost four. Blitz, he'll get taken down as well. As the racks will fall. And it looked like their Moon was playing very safe. Didn't want to get anywhere close enough to it. But in doing so, he just, he never jumps in. Yeah, keep that Gloves of Haste and not spend the extra 1,600 gold if that was uh, truly her goal here. Well, this, this looks kind of like it might be their last defense. Got a, but they're going to go in for sure. Here comes. Straight in. Every time. Ben just getting bursted down by them. Fox will jump forward, but instantly disabled. Fox gone as well. Yep, they, they wanted to react to, to saving Merlini, but Merlini gets killed instantly. And the fight's just kind of over. Can they go for a big play? They're gonna have Rec Room up in five seconds. They've got the Echo as well. There's the jump. They'll try. Have they got enough damage though between the two of them? They have, and that's gonna be the Shaker gone. Blitz taken down as well. Everybody on open AI survives. As they'll instantly smoke back off. They're ready to go for that top lane as the tier two does still stand. It's really hard to win this fight. Sentries everywhere. They don't have that many souls on SF. This is really bad. And BKB just pops immediately here by the Jara. Straight away looks to chase down Malini with that rocket barrage, pushing him all the way back to base. Just to get a fair bit of damage as he's down to half health, but they've already lost both Blitz and Fog. Assassinate out onto Cap. Will not quite finish him as he's fine. In the silence, but Malini, he's come back into this one, getting held in place by the Roost. Malini Meander trying to jump in on the side, but a stump from Lion holds him down. Open AI take four once again. GG is called, and game two will also go to Open AI. Well, uh, they were definitely closer. It's, it's just it always comes down to the small initiation moment when the, when the first high ground comes. They delayed it even more this game. They're definitely getting better against uh, the Open AI 5, but they have to nail those initiations, and it's really difficult to do so. And um, this game, uh, it felt like uh, Merlini had a hero that also felt a little inadequate in some ways. Like, if I think he had decent levels. He did some nice rotations, but I felt like we didn't feel any presence out of his ultimate, the, the, the GG calls. Um, we didn't see any exorcism damage, and the way that the bots used Death Prophet when they did use it was keep it in a solo lane where there aren't three heroes, which Ben never got. He was constantly trial lane, quad lane.